here we have Smacks. And Smacks, I think, was on a surrendered to the La Jolla shelter, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Um, and he is a he's a Frenchie. He's probably was used as a breeding dog. He he's very nice. He's sweet, but he has he's got a very very big personality. And honestly, I don't. I think he's had pretty much zero training in his lifetime. Can you look over here, baby? Because all I see is the door. Here, come over here. And he can be mouthy, but he's not bad about it. And I think when we get him neutered, hopefully he'll be better. But he craves the attention so bad that once you get him out, he just can't hardly contain himself. So as much as I know, everybody, I want a Frenchie, I want a Frenchie, I want a Frenchie. Here's the thing. The only people that are going to be able to adopt him are people that have experience with the breed, understand they do have medical issues that maybe need to be addressed. His nose is really short and he gets heated. Come, come here, come here, come here. And he's very busy and he's very strong. So I would not suggest any young kids at all with him because he is like a bulldozer. He's very but nice. He is extremely busy and he wants to kind of play. When he plays, he wants to like play mouth you. And he's okay with his toys, but who knows? You know what I mean? He's just gonna need an experienced adopter because however he ended up being on a surrendered, we don't want that to ever happen to him again. Um, <laughs> and of course, everybody knows he can't be outside. He needs to probably be on a, a really specific diet because they do have a tendency to have skin issues. Yeah, there you go. And he needs someone that's gonna be extremely active, spend time with him. He hates being in a kennel. So unless you wanna hear the yelling and kind of the weird noises, just you know, try to get not to kennel him because he can be really loud and really vocal about his kennel. Yes. What's that? And you know, it's hard to say because maybe a month in your home, all of this energy might be gone. Um, but he, do, he does have it, okay? So he's gonna need, and he can be a little hard-headed. <laughs> so we have been in here, I've been in here probably a good hour, mm -hmm. hour and a half with him, uh, just trying to get pictures because he's so concerned about everything that's happening and he wants to be involved in everything. <laughs> and he is strong too. He's 25 pounds and I think, what is he, about two years old? Yes. Yeah. So here's our boy. He says, I'm a nice boy. I just haven't got a lot of attention in my life. He's got that big mouth. Look at that mouth. Look at that nose. It is. <laughs> that poor, that nose is smushed. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I. He can't I'm, be outside for long enough. No, he can't. Or, or in the cold, you know. He just can't be outside long. Even just right now, we're in an air conditioned building. You know, he has a little problem. Yeah. And I'm sorry they bred you that way, baby. But you know what? We're going to get you in the best home that's going to take care of you and understand your needs. See, he wants to be affectionate. And then, like I said, this took it like an hour and a half to get him to stand there. And he does like his toys. And then he'll take them over here and he'll drop them. He plays with them like a cat. <laughs> so I, I really believe we need someone that has experience with Frenchies, understands their personalities, their medical needs in the future. Yeah. In other words, he's not he's not a little toy. He's definitely got a big personality that's mm -hmm. gonna he's gonna need some obedience classes. <laughs> he, has, he said I kinda got a mind of my own. Yeah. Here's my back. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I wanted to and he said, I wanna sit here with a toy in my mouth. Oh my God, so it's this is our smacks. And he's available through Tracy's Paws Rescue to a Frenchie family. <laughs> Apparently he loves his stuffies. What do you think about that? Huh? Huh? What do you think about that? And he wants to like play mouth. Yeah. Um, not hard. 
but I just don't think I think he's just mouthy. He's just never been trained, and but he doesn't he doesn't do it hard. He just wants to taste you for some reason. What? What? What's that? What's that? Gonna give me that? Huh? What you see? What you see? There you go. So here's our boy. Here's our poor boy. Probably got a bunch of kids running around too. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna relax now? Oh, it's only two hours. You gonna relax? Are huh, you worn out? How are you breathing with that toy in your mouth? What are you doing, kid? Huh? Listen, I think you should take that out of your mouth. You can't breathe. What, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, 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 we got it. Poor babies, why they breathe them like that? I'm sorry, honey. We'll get you in a home that understands that. Because sometimes I think they do they do surgeries to open up the airways and yeah. and uh, uh, just there's stuff they can do for them if it gets bad. Yeah. Yeah, there's our boy. We're going to get you fixed, too. We're going to fix that whole problem. Okay. I don't see how you're breathing, but... <laughs> Give me this. You okay? Okay. Say bye. Say I'm Smax. I'm two years old. And I'm 20, 25 pounds. And I'm all muscle. All muscle. There you go. Say bye.